Welcome back to the Nail Chronicle. I know it's been ages since I've uh, recorded a video. I've just been super busy. Um, but whilst my website is currently down, hopefully it'll be up again tonight, I thought, well, why not take the chance to record um, a new video? So for this video, I'm going to be uh, talking about the Nail Polish YouTuber tag. So essentially a series of 10 questions. Um, so I was tagged in by 360 Nails TV. If you haven't seen her channel, check it out. It's really cool. She's got some awesome tutorial videos and swatches and reviews. Um, yeah, so there's since it's going to be 10 questions. Um, I'll answer them as best I can and we'll see what happens. Anyway, here it goes. So question one, what is the best part about being a nail polish YouTuber? Um, I'd say it's the ability to actually show something that you can't put up on a blog or on an Instagram post. Um, you can show fine details and actually show techniques that just sometimes don't come across very well in words. And sometimes it's just easier just to look at a video of how somebody has um, completed something. Okay, so question two, what is the worst part about being a nail polish YouTuber? This would have to be the video editing. Uh, I'm pretty limited on time at the moment. I'm finding I'm quite busy. And so this is part of the reason why I haven't uploaded a lot of videos of late. And this is probably definitely the worst part. Occasionally I will try and just record something in one go. It doesn't always work out. So unfortunately my last video that I had planned to pop up, the videoing did not work. Um, yeah, so it's just little challenges like that that are definitely the worst part about being a nail polish YouTuber. All right, so my favorite videos to film, um, probably tutorials, because I love showing off different techniques that I've maybe learned or I'm still learning even. Um, uh, yeah, and I do also like uh, swatches or box opening. I really haven't done that many videos, so you never know, this might change in a little while once I've um, created some more content. So question four, a new nail polish YouTube channel that you enjoy watching. Um, uh, it'd probably be 360 Nails, mainly because it's been uh, the newest one that I've watched of late. I have been watching a few other little ones. I just haven't been on YouTube that much, um, although I have been watching a lot of cooking shows at the moment. So yeah, it's probably definitely 360 Nails. All right, question five, what do your friends and family think about being a nail polish YouTuber? Um, I think mostly they're supportive. A few of them were a bit surprised, which I can understand, but definitely like my partner's supportive. I'm recording this on a Yeti microphone, which I got as an early birthday present, which is epic. And so hopefully you can actually understand me. Um, cause that was some of the comments I got back on my last videos is that it was really hard to hear what I was saying. Um, so yeah, I think they're definitely supportive. All right. Um, number six is a memorable comment. I think just anyone commenting or asking me more questions about what I've put up in my content. Um, yeah, just any little thing. It's, I don't really have anything too memorable at this stage. All right. Plans for my channel. Um, ideally I'd like to be able to upload once a week, but realistically it's probably not going to happen for a little while. Um, I would like to do a lot more sort of nail art tutorials and maybe a few swatches and just exploring new nail polishes but definitely sticking to the theme of nail polish um yeah i won't deviate from that all right what's on my nails today well today is actually my new nail day so i change my nails once a week um but i haven't taken the old one off so at the moment i've got a red china glaze which i was halfway through writing the review for um it's currently sitting in a word document waiting to be uploaded with some gorgeous uh flower decals which is Add a little bit extra to it without going too overboard in the nail art space. All right, a brand that's impressing me right now, um, I'm going to say Moonshine Manny, mainly because uh, so I've tried two of her polishes. One of them was a bit meh, but the other one was fantastic, and both of them really lasted a long time. Like, I could have worn them for two weeks if I wanted to without even having to put another top coat on. Um, and so I was just really impressed to see how she's grown from her channel to creating her own nail polish brand. Um, it was a great thing to try out. So perhaps in the future, when I've gone through my current stash of um, nail polish, I might buy a few more of hers and we'll give them a go. All right. And what do you think of your current collection as a whole? I'm assuming this question refers to nail polish. Um, I quite like it. It's got a really diverse range of brands. So I've got anything from like, uh, some mainstream stuff like Rimmel, OPI, 
um, nails ink even to some more indie stuff. Um, so like ILMP is my, probably my biggest indie collection. Um, yeah, so, and I'm trying to diversify my colors a little bit. So I've picked up a few more reds, which I was lacking. Um, and just trying out a few different shades and yeah, so trying to get away from having just blues and, uh, blacks and red. Yeah. So, um, I quite like my current collection. All right. So there you have it. That's my responses to the now polished YouTuber tag. Um, I hope you found it informative and gave you a bit of insight into my channel and who I am. Um, I will think about somebody to tag in and I'll put them in the comment. If you've got any other questions for me or you're just curious about anything nail polish or non-nail polish related, chuck a comment down below. Hit like and subscribe. Um, I'm a fairly new channel and I am trying to get more content out so I'd love to see your support. Anyway, until next time, catch ya!